Here is your Storm Team 29 forecast. All right, folks, what you see is what you get for the rest of the day. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Outside live from downtown Charlottesville, you can see the raindrops on the camera lens, overcast skies, some hilltop fog. Not a good day, of course, to have your lunch outside or even for construction workers out here. So the wet weather will continue today, tonight, and into the first part of tomorrow. And it is a chilly rain. Look at these numbers in the 40s, low 40s, Charlottesville, mid 40s at Stanton and Waynesboro. We will slowly rise to the 50s tonight. So the warmest part of your Thursday will come just before midnight. Actually, NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple Doppler radar shows rain moderate to heavy at times. The yellow you see on the map, that's moderate rain. Charlottesville, Albemarle County, a slow go of it across I-64 and also the US 29 corridor. Lovingston, heavy rain. Dillwyn along the James River, moving northeast towards Palmyra, Lake Monticello and Louisa, even around Rumble of thunder can't be rolled out, especially over South Side Virginia today. Rain, moderate time, Stanton, Harrisonburg, over to Madison, Culpeper, Standardsville, over into Orange County. So expect wet weather like this throughout the day. So far, according to Doppler estimates, we picked up a half inch of rain for Charlottesville over the last 24 hours. Most of that falling this morning and already near and south of the James River, more than an inch of rain. And that's important because more wet weather is on the way. And for that reason, the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch for much of the area through early tomorrow morning through officially 7 a.m. over central Virginia. So watch those flood prone areas closely and of course never ever drive through high water. More wet weather. It's a heavy rain train all the way back to the southwest. There's been severe weather out here into North and South Carolina tornado watches and warnings. In fact, there was a confirmed tornado north uh, just northwest of uh, Charlotte about an hour ago. But the severe risk when it comes to tornadoes and wind and hail will be just two hours south. That extends all the way down to the Gulf Coast. So expect that wet weather to be with us overnight tonight. Overall severe weather is over southeast Virginia into North Carolina, but yes, here at home we could hear a rumble of thunder. Additional rain through tonight, tomorrow morning, one to two inches, and that could cause some local high water concerns. Future cast shows waves of rain. Temperatures slowly rising through the 50s tonight. We're going to stay in the 50s into the early part of your Friday and then a cold front will come through here Friday morning at dawn with a new shower and then falling temperatures. Here we go at 4 p.m. Friday sunshine and clouds upper 40s for Charlottesville and upper 30s for the Shenandoah Valley. Michael and Sun 70 forecast dry and cold tomorrow night and blustery winds too. I might add Saturday is dry in the 40s. There could be a brief rain or snow shower mainly for the Shenandoah Valley overnight Saturday, mainly dry Sunday with some sunshine low 50s and what you know it more wet weather off and on. <laughs> Next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So no sign of snow, big snows, or Arctic chill in that seven-day forecast. Now I guess we are lucky that it's not cold enough for snow because we'd have a lot of snow oh, today. Be of snow. <laughs> yes, yeah. mm -hmm. we'll send that up north. That's yeah. fine. At least we have Sunday. <laughs> yeah, Sunday looks okay right now. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Josh.